Um, okay, next, next slide. Some of these details only affect a handful of people at Grand Valley. Um, all right, here's how they're going to try and, and sensitize the consent process. They're going to give you three choices. A standard brief general consent form allowing for broad future research of the specimen or information we collected from you by anybody we choose at any point in the future for any purpose the researcher chooses. That's what we want you to consent to. You can say no, it can never be used for research. You can say yes, it can be used for anybody's research anytime. Or there might be particular areas of research where they have checkoff boxes. And we say, well, I don't want you to use my specimens or data for research if it involves the following things. And you can specify what would be essentially morally objectionable research to you. If the oral consent is allowed at the time of initial collection, you have to envision that broad consent was also obtained. But they're probably not going to go for oral consent. They're going to require everything to be written. Next. Um, Currently, if a researcher thinks that their research proposed project is exempt, they write it up, they send it to the IRB, they say, I think this is exempt under category four or whatever. It goes to an IRB member. And the IRB member then either agrees or disagrees. And we disagree between 10 and 20% of the time. We don't think that it fits in an exempt category. It has to be upgraded to expedited or it comes in asking for expedited review, and we say, this doesn't need expedited review. This can be downgraded to exempt. You don't need a consent form. You don't need to worry about that stuff. So we get mistakes by the researchers in both directions. They either upgrade or, or downgrade their own research proposal. Well, this would eliminate the practice of the reviewer determining the exempt status. It's now up to the researcher and their authorizing official. Reviewer determining exempt status technically is not required under the common rule now anyway. We do it because we find so many errors. And we think that the IRB members are the best trained, most familiar with all the regulations, and they're the best people to make that judgment accurately. The new process is researchers simply file with the institution or the IRB a registration form, name of the investigator, purpose. Researcher can then begin. Administrative review of the forms is discouraged discouraged. Get out of the researcher's way. Next slide. A new mechanism for protecting subjects from informational risk. Next slide. 